hello everybody or only one or two people that are watching this um, <laughs> today is gonna be my 24 week update video and I'm kind of in a rush so I'm gonna kind of get started real fast here so the first thing I'm going to do is read to you what my Ovia pregnancy app says about 24 weeks. At 24 weeks pregnant, Winnie's lungs are producing the substance that will make them inflate when she has to breathe on her own, and she's over a foot tall. Winnie is starting to develop taste buds, which means that before too long, she will be able to taste some of the stronger flavors of the things that you eat through the amniotic fluid she still swallows regularly. And according to a 2011 study, this could impact her food preferences later in life. So make sure to eat your vegetables. It might mean you'll have an easier time convincing your toddler to do the same in a few years. I don't know how I feel about that, because I like hate vegetables. Um, they kind of make me want to throw up, and if there's one thing you don't want to be doing when you're pregnant, it's throwing up. So I'm like, oh, I just, what I eat now is going to affect her preferences, so I'm just like, I'm really struggling with this. Like, I know I need to eat vegetables, but like, they taste so gross. Uh, she's also gained about a quarter of a pound last week in bones, muscle, and fat, and so she's finally beginning to fill out into a real baby shape. Even though Winnie's eyebrows, lashes, and hair are coming in, they still lack pigment and they're white. And her skin is beginning to glow a bit pinker due to the appearance of capillaries. And her ears and fingernails are complete by now. So now Winnie has fingernails. Like, she has her fingernails. That's crazy. It says, by the end of this week, Winnie is probably around 13 inches long, which is the size of an eggplant. Or a puffin, if you know what a puffin is. And weighs about 1.5 pounds. So she's getting big. I think she's bigger than this, though. When I show you my bump, you'll see. And when I tell you how much I've gained. Um, how's mom? It says for me how I should be feeling around 24 weeks. It says you should start seeing skin trouble um, everywhere, but especially around the belly area. It says between the linea nigra, stretch marks, and an itchy belly, your skin might be driving you nuts this week. Your ankles and fingers might be swollen as well. Um, and then it says constipation, headaches, and vision changes or dry eyes may also prove to be issues. So that's what the app says at 24 weeks. Now, as far as how I match up with what the app says, um, I haven't really noticed any extra problems for me. I've had constipation problem like the whole time I've been pregnant, so that's like not new. I've not really noticed any hand swelling yet. Sorry, I just did like a makeup video. But I haven't noticed any hand swelling yet. My, ring, my wedding ring goes on and off the same as it always has. So that hasn't changed yet. I have noticed that my feet, I said this last time though, my feet do hurt quicker now when I'm on them for a short period of time. So, But that's still the same, it hasn't gotten worse. Um, my stomach has not been itchy. Um, I haven't gotten any stretch marks on my stomach. I have gotten them underneath my boobs, which is gross. Uh, just about, just on the underside, like it's not on the top or on the sides, it's like under them, which is really weird. Uh, but none on my stomach yet because I've been using Palmer's Cocoa Butter every single day. So I think that has been helping. But thank goodness no stretch marks yet. So I guess I don't match up real well with what the app says I should be feeling right now. Um, but I'm glad about that. <laughs> I have been having um, problems with my tailbone. Like I cannot sit down for very long now without my tailbone just hurting. I think it's just from all the extra weight. Um, speaking of weight though... Uh, I have gained a lot of weight um, since my last update. I don't know if you can tell on my face or not, um, but I can't figure out where I've gained it because my arms haven't gotten bigger, my legs haven't gotten bigger, my feet maybe a slight bit, um, and my thighs maybe a teeny bit, and of course my mom says my face a little bit, but I've gained since um, the beginning of the pregnancy where they weigh you before you actually, you know, gain any weight. Um, I've gained around 22 pounds already and sometimes depending on your weight beforehand that's how much they want they want you to gain total so I'm kind of freaked out by that um, my belly has shot out since the last time you saw it and obviously I've gained weight in my breasts but uh, I don't know where the 21 pounds is coming from <laughs> if Winnie only weighs about a pound and a half I'm just like I am so confused because I don't feel like I look like I've gained 21 pounds. But I guess we'll see together. I have, as far as cravings go, I don't like the, in pregnancy around 24 weeks, you should start getting that crazy pregnancy appetite that everyone talks about. I don't get like hungrier 
per se. Like when I eat, I can't eat very much without getting full. Like I get full quick. And I think that's just because my belly already feels like pushed to its limit that if I eat even slightly too much that it just really kind of hurts. So I don't eat that much at a time, but the food depletes faster in my stomach if that makes sense. So I'm like eating like, you know, an average size meal like every two hours or so. Not every two hours, but like I'm eating more often, but not more in portion, if that makes sense. Um, as far as cravings go, I do have a new craving, um, and it's really, really weird. Um, I have been craving waffles, and that's not weird. I know a lot of people crave waffles and like waffles, but it's not just waffles. I've been craving waffles and then anything shaped like a waffle. Like if it looks like a waffle and it's got like the square holes in it, like that just sounds so good to me so like you can put hash browns in a waffle maker you could put like churro type stuff you could put pizzas in there you can make macaroni and cheese that's baked in a waffle like anything that's shaped like a waffle or looks like a waffle is what i think about all the time now so just waffles um and just some other things since my last update i have my doctor's appointment is um this tuesday it's sunday so in two days, I go to my next doctor's appointment. I had to reschedule it, and it was a pain in the butt. If you're friends with me on Facebook, then you know this. But, oh my gosh, I tried to reschedule, and, like, I can't even... It's, it's a really long story, but in summary, I ended up talking to the manager of the practice, and she told me that if I couldn't make the exact time that she was telling me, that I needed to find a new provider. They gave me one option. I called to reschedule, they gave me one other option because they were so booked, and it was for the same exact time that I had it scheduled for before, just on a different day, and I told her, I said, I can't make that time. That time does not work for me, but she st she offered me this stuff. She offered it to me nonetheless, and then I said I couldn't do it, so then they got mad at me and told me that I was being difficult and that I needed to find another provider. Um, I called, they have two offices, I called the other office that was in the city, and I have it scheduled with them, and we'll see how they are, but the office staff at my OBGYN is the worst, the worst, and I will not stay with them after this pregnancy. I'm going to keep stay with them now because I've already invested too much time there with this pregnancy, but I'm not, never going back there again. So that makes me angry and it's like probably not good for me that, that it like raised my blood pressure and stuff, but whatever. Uh, but also since the last update, I have been doing a lot of consignment shopping. I went to two events this last weekend with my mom that were like consignment events where people will sell stuff. Um, and it's like little kids stuff. And we got a lot of clothes and I got a diaper genie for three bucks and it's like almost brand new, which is awesome. And then we got some books and we got a lot of shoes, which I needed a lot of shoes. So um, it was <laughs> super, super cute and awesome. If you guys are pregnant and having a baby and you have not looked around your area for consignment events, then I highly suggest you do that because like everything is priced from like 50 cents. I think the most expensive thing I saw was $15, um, but it was like this really fancy new set for like pictures. Uh, but most things are from 50 cents to like five bucks. So it is a great, great thing to do if you have a child. <laughs> Even if you have an older child. They had tons of toys, high chairs, um, bedding, nursery decor, like, uh, they have, like cribs, they had pack and plays, car seats, strollers. Like they have so much stuff at these things. So you need to find one if you are in the same boat as me. All right. Now it's time to show you my belly bump, which I am kind of scared to show because before I was complaining, oh, I'm not showing, I'm not showing, and now it's too much for me. But I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so here is the belly. Now I don't know why in this, like whenever I do these videos, it doesn't look like very much, but I promise you in person, it's much, much bigger. And, and this shirt's not a good example anyways, um, but I'll show you with this sh without the shirt but this is the bump my belly button is sticking out completely you can see it there hello belly button so i know you guys are looking at this probably thinking i'm crazy uh that i think i look huge but i seriously feel huge so there it is there's winnie 
Okay, I will see you guys in my next update, which will be at 26 weeks. Subscribe if you like this, and comment down below with any questions or comments, and give it a thumbs up. Okay, bye!